Welcome back to another episode of Starfield. I intended for this to be the episode where we start the last quest of the main story, but after looking into it, it wants us to travel to an area where the suggested level is 75. I think right now I'm level 63. I don't mind going in a little under leveled, but that feels a little too under leveled for me. So today, we're going to work on doing some miscellaneous missions. We're going to try and keep the missions centered around our friends at Constellation to start, but we're going to do some miscellaneous missions to try and get our level up a little bit. Let's jump right into it. It's taken care of. There's nothing to discuss. Let's get a second opinion, shall we? Walter and I were just discussing the expenses incurred during the attack. No, I was explaining that there's nothing to discuss. It's been taken care of. It seems that Walter has taken it upon himself to cover the costs of the repairs to both the Lodge and the Eye, as well as any expenses relating to the... to the funeral services. Barrett, for all his antics, was an essential part of this group. And a friend. Thank you, Walter. That was kind of you. Well, it's not about looking for thanks. I just... It needed to be done, that's all. Well, I can't thank you enough, Walter. Sarah, I know we argue about money all the time. Most of it is in jest, but occasionally it's not. This is the one way I can best contribute to our work. It has been and continues to be an honor to do so. And when this is all over, we can go back to squabbling about minor expenses. But it was important to me that I do this. Fair enough. Well, since we're already talking about this, there is one more thing I'd like to do for Barrett, and I'd appreciate your input. Nothing extravagant, just a small plaque here in the lodge. Something to remember them by. Where do you think would be appropriate? Hmm. The bar would be the best spot. <laughs> That's certainly some place everyone will see it. Any objections, Walter? No. I think this is a fine idea. Then it's settled. I'm glad we had this discussion. And now, perhaps we can try and move on. Yes. I think that's right. Is that that? Are they done? Yes. Forgive me for pulling you aside again. But, well, there's so much to process right now. The Emissary, the Hunter, the Unity, an entire multiverse. I can't even begin to wrap my head around it all. I feel exactly the same way. Overwhelmed. Why wouldn't you be? The fact that we are the origin of the Starborn. Humans literally reborn by entering the Unity. The same, yet different. <laughs> it's unbelievable. I feel like most of the knowledge we've amassed in the last few centuries about the universe has just been made obsolete. It's an exciting time to live. It's exciting, but... We've made so many mistakes along the way. I worry about the damage we've done to ourselves. We've been pushing further and further outwards from our home, when we should have spent more time being prepared for the consequences. Our current problem relates closely to the nature of humans as a species. This rushed curiosity has led us to enter the Unity and become Starborn. You say this as though it's a bad thing. Well, look what's happening right now. Here we are, caught in the middle of some sort of needlessly violent crusade between the Hunter and the Emissary. You'd think that a technologically advanced society would have evolved past petty squabbling over something like the artifacts. 
It almost makes me wonder if entering the Unity has done them more harm than good. So you think the artifacts are the primary reason Starborn revealed themselves to us? Oh, absolutely. Their arrival in our universe is much too timely to be for any other reason. It's also clear that the need to collect these artifacts are an obsession for them, almost bordering on an addiction. That leads me to wonder what the Unity has done to their minds and their souls. We should learn more about the Starborn before we pass judgment on them. Yes, I agree, but not at the expense of erasing our own existence. When you pass into whatever lies beyond, we don't know what will become of you. Will you remember your life as you knew it? Will the hunger to collect the artifacts consume your life like it's clearly consumed the Starborn? I have to find out what's on the other side. I'm just as curious to find out what's on the other side as well, but that's not the point. As the chair of Constellation, I want all of us to have this opportunity to explore the Unity. It would be the pinnacle exploration of our lives. However, after we enter the Unity, we'll likely evolve. You and I, as we stand here right now, will essentially cease to exist. You're a respected colleague, and I wouldn't want to lose you. What makes you think you'd be losing me? I'm not sure. I'm guessing based on what we've learned. Even if I accompany you into the Unity, the question still remains. Would we know each other anymore? Even if we did, would we care? Part of what I do as Chair of Constellation is weigh the costs of our expeditions. And this one, oh, the cost is extremely high. Let me go, Sarah. I know I have to let you go, but damn it, it's killing me inside. Listen. I realize nothing that I say is ever going to change your mind or diminish the enticement of this incredible opportunity. All I ask is that you research the facts before you blindly stumble off into the unknown. I will. I promise. Thank you. Well, I suppose I've ruined the moment again, haven't I? <laughs> I'm getting quite good at that lately. I'll let you get back to whatever you were doing. Just think what we discussed. I know I will. When you have a few moments, there's something I'd like to discuss. We just got done discussing. Can you believe this, Andreja? Ugh. Remember our last conversation? When you told me the artifacts made you feel like you were being pulled across the entire galaxy. Well, it got me thinking. So I dove into our archives and started looking through Constellation's older journal entries. Just because I wasn't familiar with the experience you described doesn't mean the same might have been true for my predecessor. Were any of the old journal entries helpful? Uh, unfortunately, no. Other than you and Barrett, there were no records of direct encounters with the artifacts. I have to admit, though, I did get more than a bit sidetracked reminiscing about old times. You never mentioned your predecessor to me before. Really? I'm surprised that I haven't. After reading those journals, all of the pleasant memories of my time spent with Aja just started flooding back. Aja? Aja Mamasa. She was the youngest member of Constellation when it was founded. Only took her 15 years to reach chair. Sorry, I sometimes get so caught up in my own bubble, I forget that I wasn't the first. I feel like we're making some good memories of our own. Oh yes, absolutely. I didn't mean to compare. Those were just... 
Oh, I don't know. Different times. Aja was the one that taught me the ropes at Constellation and took me under her wing as her protege. Being paired with the boss must have been quite an honor. Yeah, I thought so too. That's why I adopted her methods. You know, Aja and I logged quite a few interesting discoveries together. But it was the journey itself that I'll never forget. I can relate to that. Exactly. For me, it was all about the quieter moments. There was nothing quite like sitting back and watching space bend while listening to Aja spin vivid stories to fill the time. Oh, I find that sort of cozy isolation the best way to really get to know someone. Cozy isolation? Yeah, you know, being alone in interstellar space, nothing but light years of black around you. Some people find that terrifying. I find it comfortable. It helps me bond with my shipmates. I take it I'm the protege on this journey? At this point point, I'd say you've graduated from protege and moved up the ladder. A bit. You know, all this talk about Aja reminds me that my time with her was a gift. I miss her dearly. At least she left a vacancy for you to fill his chair. I wasn't gunning for her spot. In fact, everyone at Constellation was surprised when she announced she was retiring and moving to Parima 2. Come to think of it, if we're ever out that far, perhaps we could pay her a visit and I could make proper introductions. Well, hopefully I'm a suitable substitute. Yeah, you'll do. <laughs> Look. I don't expect you to be an exact copy of Aja. Your hunger for exploration, to pierce the veil and seek the unknown, it's a common bond that we share. I wouldn't have it any other way. I'd like to discover more about what we have right here. I... I don't know if I deserve to be that close to anyone right now. If you knew about the things that I've done, the way my life's unfolded, I think your opinion of me might change. Please give me some time. I, 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 I have to go. I kind of thought that was going to add an activity to go out and me, Aja, which we already did. I believe your ship will perform more efficiently if you bring I'm me expecting on board. Big things. I don't disagree, Vasco. Welcome back, Captain. Let me down. Let's get you assigned somewhere. I will go wherever I am needed. Yeah, get him on the ship. At this point, I don't care what you have to do to get that project back on track. Within reason. I managed to get your new ship project back on track. Good to hear. I figured as much. See... I just finished looking over the final design they sent over before you arrived. I've got to say I'm impressed with it. It's a bit safe, but also an elegant evolution of our past designs. I think it's going to be a great addition to our fleet. I'll be happy to make it my new personal ship. Additionally, I want you to have one of the first off the assembly line for all of your hard work. Feel free to pick it up at the star yard. Thanks again. Wait, a free ship? Did it give me a quest to go out there and pick it up? Or am I just expected to do it? I think they just expect me to go grab it. If I could only remember where that 
was. Is it up by Aquila? I'm gonna have to find that star yard again and I will see you guys when I get there. I think this is the ship that he was talking about. It literally doesn't have a weapon system. Which is kind of hilarious. Um, okay then. In that case... Let's do this one. Let's go talk to the hunter. So, how was it? Did you kill Aquilus, as I asked? Or did you let him go? I did your dirty work. Let's just move on. Funny. Doesn't quite feel the way I was expecting. Well, no matter. Next universe, I'll handle it myself. See if that makes a difference. The last priest. Rare melee weapon? Oh. That's miles better than both of my other melee weapons. Whoa. That's cool. Alright, what else we got? Let's do this mission for Andresia. I can't fast travel from this location? Yeah, that makes sense. I'm busy. Leave me alone. He is not here. I am disappointed, but relieved somehow? Maybe we should try somewhere else. Mm, no. This is the only place he would be. I know him well enough to know that. Someone here must know more. We should inquire about him. Well, let's try asking Aggie, since this is Aggie's. This bar may be tougher than you can handle. I'm looking for Aaron Bascom. You, you ain't here looking for Aaron. She is. Hello, Aggie. I was unsure whether you would remember me. It has been a long time. I ain't likely to forget you anytime soon. Is there a problem? I don't know. You tell me. You're the one blundering in here with her in tow asking questions. Don't worry about her. You're dealing with me. Don't try to play tough with me. I ain't got the time or the patience for it. She didn't ruin Aaron's life enough the first time, huh? Back for more? Ruined his life? How dare you? Did she tell you what she did to him? How she left him bleeding on some godforsaken rock in the middle of nowhere? We'd just like to know that he's safe. Now, after all this time, you could have dropped in any time in, oh, the last nine years or so. Maybe that wouldn't have been too convenient for you, though. Aaron sat in that corner for years, scared of his own shadow. 
convinced the damn zealots were coming back to finish the job. The few credits he had to rub together that didn't get spent on drink, he spent on setting himself up someplace where they couldn't find him. Wouldn't trust anyone that walked through the door. Only ever talked to me when he was drunk enough. Clearly you care about him. We do too. If either of you cared, you wouldn't just be showing up now. Aaron ain't been in here for almost a year now. Showed up one day saying he'd gone and got himself set up on Hyla too. Thanking me for letting him stay here so often. It was the closest I'd seen him to happy in I don't know how long. And that was it. Never came through the door again. Did he ever mention me? You mean, did he blame you? That's what you want to know. I know guilt when I see it. Don't try and deny it. Fine. Did he blame me? No. Believed you were one of the good ones, right up until the last time I talked to him. Me? <laughs> I don't think your kind has good ones. My kind? I know what you are. You take your holier-than-thou bullshit and your great serpent and shove them. You dare insult me like this when I have come to you asking for help. I should kill you where you stand. We came here for information and we got it. Let's just go. Fine. But perhaps I will return here at some point. Well, this has been so much fun. You see Aaron, you tell him I got a bottle of his favorite stashed away if he ever shows up again. But honestly, I'm hoping he doesn't. I trust you are well. Girl, you gotta relax. We have something to go on at least. I am grateful that you showed some compassion, despite that woman's attitude. I do not have your patience. It was the truth, nothing more or less. And yet it is my past we are trying to clear up. That is... <sighs> it means a lot. I'm eager to reach Hyla too, and speak to Aaron. Perhaps there is something we can do to help him, provide him a sense of safety. Goodbye, for now. All right. Hyla too it is. Just kidding. Gonna have to make a pit stop. Hi. Please disregard. I attempted an informal greeting, but I am dissatisfied with the results. We should be on our guard here. If we could detect the camp from orbit, it means others could too. And I have no idea what fortifications he may have. When we arrive. Would you let me speak to him first? I think that is important right now. I'll let you do the talking. Thank you. From what Aggie said, it sounds like he has been rather paranoid for years now. That too, I fear, is my fault. Let us proceed slowly and carefully. I do not want to antagonize him. Find the camp? Oh. He's being attacked. Well, that's not good. Stop moving. And once again, we are triumphant. Oh, 
Oh, they're inside the building. Yeah, that ain't gonna work either. How did you guys get in there? Level 72, what the fuck? And a minigun? Yo, y'all gotta relax with that shit, what the fuck? Bro, can you chill please? Alright, alright, hold up, hold up. That minigun fucking hurts. Oh shit. Run. Yes, eat the bullets. God damn, I can't aim. Oh, I almost bought one of these. Holy shit. 611 damage. Gimme, gimme. Well, that shit's empty. You joined the Vanguard? Holy contraband. Yeah, I can't carry all that shit. Hey. I, I thought I saw something. I need to be sure. Okay, that's fine, but like... Can you carry some shit for me? What did you see? While her slow ass walks over there. Amends, or at least to hear him curse me for leaving him. I was prepared to accept that. I did not think I would find him like this. At least these vermin didn't get him. He's been gone for. Well, clearly, it's been some time. Look around. There will be correspondence from Jada Wong. I am sure of it. This cannot all be for. I already picked it up, I'm pretty sure. Can we chit chat? 
You found something. Please, let me see it. <gasps> I should have guessed. Jada was always the one to run towards trouble. Of course she would still be doing it now. In her own way. If she went hunting zealots, what are the odds she's still alive? For anyone else, I would say the chances of survival are slim. But for Jada... <laughs> she is alive and on a mission. I would bet my life on it. Jada was younger than some of the other smugglers we contracted. There was concern she would be unreliable. As time went on, we called on her more and more often. Eventually relying on her almost exclusively. She was sharp. A skilled pilot and very, very determined. Always talking about her big plans for retirement. How she would live like a queen. I... I'm not surprised that she would desire revenge. But to go this far, we need to find her. But before we go, I've discovered something else. And I do not know what to make of it. Aaron was composing a reply to Jada, but never sent it. It reads as if he was expecting the Zealots to find him. That they knew where to look for him. You think he knew something we don't? Clearly he had become paranoid, but that does not mean he was wrong. What bothers me, though, is that he mentions a name he should not know. Tomisar Kadik. You know that name, though, don't you? Yes, I do. For all of my assignments in the Settled Systems... Tomisar has been my link to House Varun. From him, I have received my orders, and he is the person to whom I have reported my success. He does not work with anyone outside House Varun, and I am the only one who knows how and where to find him. Aaron should never have heard of him. Sounds like someone hasn't been telling you everything. Perhaps. He could have reached out directly, but that would be a surprising breach of protocol. We must first make sure that Jada is safe, and perhaps she will be able to shed light on this. Let us head for the den. Either she is here, or someone will know where we can find her. How about my foot up your you know, ass? I understand this station was once quite the luxurious place for UC military commanders. Based on what I see, I find that very hard to believe. Haven't seen you around here before. Welcome to the den. Reyna Marquez. I head up the Vanguard station here. If you've got business with the Vanguard, I hope you ran it through Mast first. If not, you probably made a long jump for nothing. I'm looking for Jada Huang. Huang? Really? Huang. There are at least three other pilots based out of here I'd expect to receive complaints about first. Before we get started, I have to inform you there's a formal review process for the Vanguard, so don't expect any action for a while. Okay? Now, what is the nature of your complaint? It's urgent that I find her as soon as possible. Okay. As long as there's no problem. Jada isn't here. Hasn't been here in a while. In fact, she's... Well, she's following up on some sensitive information. I'm... Uh, I'm not sure I should disclose any more than that. I know what she's after. I have information that could help. It's not something I can just blurt out. I'm sure we can work something out. I hear you. Nobody else needs to know about this. I mean, it might be okay. 
Well, that sucks. I've got a narrow window here, okay? Time's wasting. Yeah, yeah, okay, I that get worked. it. That worked. I suppose it's not the end of the world. Jada came in a bit ago, all fired up over some hot lead. She's been focused on zealots ever since she was assigned here, but this was a whole other level. She was headed out to Groombridge to track them down. Never seen her so fixated. And if you know Jada, that's saying something. If you're headed out that way, be careful. Wouldn't surprise me if she's getting into all kinds of trouble. Fly safe. I mean, trouble is my specialty. Having a good one? You know, my great grandpappy made that tribe, right? <laughs> We're here. Unidentified ship. You are not authorized to be here. State your business. Who the hell are you? And what are you doing here? I'm here with Andresia. We've been looking for you. I'm not. Whoa. I was not kidding when I said I was not ready for a fight. Holy shit. to check on you make sure you're okay we're talking which means i'm alive which means as far as you're concerned i'm fine <sighs> look my grab drive is fried i need time to repair if i can even manage it you didn't take the opportunity to blow me up so either that's not your goal or you're playing some long game you want to explain yourself i can't stop you from coming over here but I'm gonna be armed, and it's gonna be aimed at her head. Just so we're all clear. Alright, I guess we're boarding. Return to your ship. Hello. How? How can you possibly show your face? I am glad to see that you are safe, Jada. I am sorry if... If this is difficult for you. Difficult? Are you serious right now? You set us up, killed my friends, and then a decade later you show up like nothing happened? Have you lost your mind? Set you up? I... I never... I was not behind that. It was zealots, you know that. We were all attacked. Don't bullshit me. Not now. And who the hell are you? Her backup dancer? We're just here to talk. Yeah? Well, we're talking. How do you think that's going so far? What are you doing here with her? You don't look like Varun to me. You hate zealots. We hate zealots. Thought we could help each other out. Yeah. Difference is, though, I haven't been working with them. She has. I would never... You know, for a while I told myself it was a coincidence that you disappeared once the shooting started. That you were long gone when the dust settled told myself no it couldn't possibly be her not after all those years we spent working together we're friends so i went after the zealots and then i found out the truth your damned high council 
They knew. Told the zealots where to find us. That's not true. That cannot be true. Oh, it is. How? How do you know this? If you have proof, I need to see it right now. You don't get to demand anything of me, Andreja. I know what I've seen. If you're so sure of this, then let's see the proof. Convince us. I... I don't have... It doesn't work like that. I've put things together over the years. Slates, communications, interrogations. A name, Jada. Give me a name. You must have heard one by now. Thomasar! Thomasar Kadik! That's the bastard from the High Council who's been helping the Zealots! And did you hear this from Aaron? Aaron? What? No! I haven't talked to him in a year. What do you know about it? Jada, I swear on the serpent himself, I would never betray you. I need time to make this right. Can we go somewhere and talk? I am not giving up on this. I've tracked them this far, and I'm going to see this through. You want your proof? Well, they have it. So, you think you won, do you? That's him! That's the bastard responsible for the ambush! If you're not lying to me, then you'd better help me take him down! Otherwise, I'll just have to destroy you both! Get back to your ship! Got a blast! How do I get out of here? Oh boy. The awful that escaped our righteous justice. This dude dead as hell. Oh, more goodies. I... I do not understand. It cannot be possible that the High Council would betray us like that. They must have been lying. So let's go ask the High Council. That is not an option. Even if we could reach them, you are a non-believer. You would be killed. Something about this does, does not feel right. This message. The code at the bottom. I have seen this before. I know where we need to go. I must explain. House Varun values secrecy above nearly all else. Those of us sent out into the settled systems, we cannot return. They can't force you to stay away forever. Maybe not forever, but certainly until our mission has been accomplished. When we are assigned a mission, we are taken to a point outside of House Varun's domain. We do not jump ourselves. We are never given the coordinates for Varun Kai, our homeworld. We literally cannot return. Only a select few are ever trusted with that knowledge. I can never go home. Unless I am permitted. There must be some other way. Perhaps there is. I cannot travel to my home, but I can reach out another way. But 
It means putting you in danger in a way you have not been before. I cannot say for certain what will happen. I didn't have anything else to do today anyway. <laughs> you do enjoy deflecting situations with humor, don't you? There is an old derelict star station where I may get answers. I know that seems vague. It will become clear when we arrive. This is a long ass quest, but I think that's where we're going to end this one here. Next time, I guess we'll head to that star station and try and finish this quest here and potentially continue on with some more quests to uh, gain some levels for the end game. But until then, thank you guys so much for watching. Have a great day.